Hello there and welcome to this Big Blue Deluxe Double Hotel Room Tour at the Big Blue Hotel Blackpool Pleasure Beach. So it's been a while since we've done one of these and it is the morning after we've had a night's sleep in here so there is a bit of mess in the room which you would expect when we've got a little boy with us who will probably be the star of the show. <laughs> so yeah we have here a deluxe double room at Blackpool Pleasure Beach and I think the best place to start would be with the view. And also, if you do have little ones, you can watch CBeebies on this telly. Or on any telly, in this hotel for that matter. So let's start with a view on this nice, lovely, sunny day here on Easter weekend at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. And for the first time staying here, you can actually see the Boulevard Hotel there in the distance. Now an observation me and Becker have made about the Boulevard Hotel is from here it does look quite small. So you're not going to get quite as good views as you probably do here but you will still get some nice views so one of the good things about staying in a deluxe double here at the big blue is you get the the doors rather than just a window that only opens so far so say that you wanted to come here for I don't know three or four days you could park yourselves on these chairs like I'm going to do now sit down and you can just sit and watch the pleasure beach as it's open obviously you'd be more focused on the rides and the doors would be open but I'm not going to open both doors while we've got a, to a, a toddler on the loose as you can probably hear in the background one of the good things about staying here in the morning as well when you wake up is that you you do get to see all the rides testing eventually it is about eight o'clock in the morning at the minute so nothing's really happening uh, sky force has been around once or twice so moving on from the view, like I say you can watch quite a bit on the telly, you can bring DVDs as well, they've got a DVD player, you can watch Pleasure Beach Experience on YouTube, you can sit and chill out here, there's obviously room for a bit of an office as well, so the PB office, the temporary PB office is set up and also we've got room here for our travel cot. But also you can request a cot when you book at the Big Blue Hotel. In terms of the bed size, well, the strange thing about it really is in the double rooms, or the deluxe family double rooms, the beds are a lot bigger than they are in the deluxe double rooms, but they're still very comfortable, very nice to stay in. We well, got a decent sleep, even with the little monkey running around. And... Yeah, you want to be star of the show again, don't you? Yeah, you do. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll move on, and I'll show you the bathroom facilities. Obviously, you get your standard tea and coffee making facilities. If you bring in a suit or anything nice that you want to hang up, there's always that option too. You even get an ironing board. So let's take a look in the bathroom. The bath itself is quite small really, but still does the job, obviously you've got a shower as well, which you would expect here, get lots of loo roll, bits and bobs that you might need as well, shower caps, nice heated rail for the towels, I'm not going to film the toilet, the sink area is nicely presented, get a nice little mirror there if you want. So to conclude my Big Blue Deluxe Double Room Tour here at the Big Blue Hotel in Blackpool Pleasure Beach, I would totally recommend a stay in the Big Blue Hotel. I mean, we always seem to just stay for one or two nights and we tend to do it when we're doing events at Pleasure Beach, but luckily this time we're not, so we're actually getting to use the room a little bit, which is decent. But yeah, I would recommend it if you're planning on having a couple of days in Blackpool. It is expensive. I'm not going to lie, it is expensive, but you do get what you pay for. Breakfast is really good. One thing to note now though, you do now have to pay for parking unfortunately, which I think is a bit wrong really. I don't think there was any need to introduce that, but all in all, I would totally recommend a stay at the Big Blue Hotel here at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. If you've ever stayed here, let us know in the comments what you think. If you've enjoyed this video, let us know what you think in the comments. And of course, if you're planning to stay in the Big Blue, we'd be interested to hear about that in the comments too. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you in the next Pleasure Beach Experience video.